Welcome back and you've joined us for an exclusive conversation with Nidhi Khare, she's Secretary, Department of Consumer Affairs. Ms. Khare, I thank you so much for joining us. And let's start with the good news first. And the monsoons have been good till time. The sowing numbers look better as well. So how are you looking at the overall ongoing sowing numbers? And of course, still, when do you think that the sowing completely would be completed? That uh, we must, we have uh, come out of the El Nino effect, uh, which meant, uh, you know, for the past two years, uh, intense heat and uh, lower uh, rainfall, and because of which all the agricultural produce were getting impacted. Uh, we are now coming out of El Nino, and therefore we see a very good monsoon, and this is what was also predicted by IMD. Uh, with the with better rainfall uh, this year we we will definitely see a very good production of uh, not only pulses the kharif pulses like urad and uh, tur we will also see very good uh, cultivation of uh, onions uh, tomato and other such crops so this is uh, providing me a lot of relief uh, because uh, with better production i am sure Consumers are going to not only have better availability, but also at a better affordability. Mm. You mentioned pulses, and that clearly has been in red zone for quite some time, most of the last one year as well. With the current uh, sowing one and the kind of imports, various duty cuts that you have given in, would you say that you are in a comfortable position as we head into festivals? Uh, as you would know that uh, we have made uh, the imports under the free regime only to make sure that because uh, there was a production fall uh, this year in China, uh, the prices were rising. So basically we wanted to make sure that uh, if uh, pulses are available in any corner of the world, they can uh, make their way to India and uh, so that the consumers also get it, uh, I mean, their access can be improved. This would also uh, make the prices stable. And as we can see that uh, because of uh, now good monsoons and because of uh, good, uh, say, uh, I mean, sowing of uh, Kharif pulses, now things are looking uh, better. And uh, we already see at least a 10% uh, say discount, uh, say downward trend in the wholesale uh, prices of all the pulses. Uh, Chana is still, uh, it is still stable at a very high price and uh, therefore we had uh, improved the uh, availability of yellow uh, peas. Uh, I think uh, yellow peas will also support and sustain uh, for the gap that we have in China. The prices are expected to be now uh, showing a downward trend in the retail markets also, and uh, including uh, China also. Uh, we have to, uh, we keep monitoring uh, the prices uh, from all the 550 centers across the country. And we are keeping a very tight vigil on the prices that are faring. Mm -hmm. Ms. Kare, your ministry and the Ministry of External Affairs has been talking to Mozambique because there has been an issue on Pulse's imports from there. What is the situation like right now? Uh, there were disturbances in the, uh, you know, in the supply of uh, Pulse's from Mozambique and also other Eastern uh, African countries like Malawi, uh, Sudan and so on. Uh, however, because uh, both uh, Ministry of External Affairs and Ministry of Consumer Affairs were working on it, uh, we have uh, made, uh, you know, our uh, request uh, to the to the uh, Mozambique government very clear, and uh, we are trying to uh, get uh, seamless uh, dispatches of uh, pulses. Uh, these 1,400 containers which are arriving in India are very, very soon. And uh, there are other 400 containers which are also on the way. I think uh, these, uh, you know, with the new harvest which is coming in both Malawi and uh, Mozambique, we will be uh, getting uh, seamless dispatch from there. 
Uh, I think uh, both the countries are uh, in agreement about uh, uninterrupted flow of supplies, especially in view of the festival seasons which are coming up. Uh, we have already, uh, you know, uh, we are working at different levels and I think uh, the mood is very positive and very, very cooperative. Sure. Uh, there is also high inflation that we've seen in the recent few days in perishable commodities, whether it has been greens, tomatoes, onion, potatoes. We do know that the government has had to intervene in case of tomatoes. But would you say the situation is better now, as you mentioned? I think in the intense uh, summer that we saw, the green vegetables, uh, the prices went up. Uh, but now with the monsoon all over, I think uh, the green vegetables uh, prices have also come down. Uh, Potato is, uh, I mean, it is stable. In fact, uh, in all the three commodities, potatoes, onion, and tomato, it is uh, stable. Uh, in tomato, we had to make a small intervention in a few places where the prices had breached 100 rupees. And uh, so both in Delhi and Mumbai, we started uh, through NCCF uh, retail uh, sale of uh, tomato at 60 rupees and then it was further, uh, I mean, down about uh, to 50 rupees. And uh, this also resulted in cooling of prices in the retail market. Now the prices are uh, very, very comfortable. So I see no problems in prices of uh, vegetables, including uh, potato, onion and tomato. That is good to know, Ms. Khadi. And a final question to you then, and this is on the issue of spices being contaminated. And we've seen various reports, international and Indian, talking about this. Uh, we do understand that you're working on FSAI with this, but do you think that that is yet another issue that has been sorted? Uh, this issue, uh, because it's a food uh, item, it is uh, basically FSSI, which is a regulator for uh, taking action. And uh, when we came to know about it, we had flagged this issue with FSSA. And FSSA, as you know, has taken action, a very strong action against the, uh, you know, the people who were uh, perpetrators. Uh, we have to keep, uh, you know, a constant vigil on the quality of food items which are being, uh, you know, made access to the consumers. And I think we will continue to do that work. Ms. Khari, as always, thank you so much for joining us here at CNBC TV 18 with all those updates and uh, in, in the sense on what the government really seems to be doing in sense of food prices and, of course, in sense of availability and affordability there. But with that, it's a wrap on Halftime Report. Business Lunch will take all the action ahead.